Uh, hi. Uh, my god, I still feel horrible. So hi guys, it's your boy Ralph. I am currently in Manila. I still have college stuff to do. You probably seen this condo right back then on the Philippine Game Dev Expo. So I'm gonna make a quick video. I don't have my fancy stuff right now, but I'm just gonna share my impressions on the a full snowy night. The a full snowy night that amp is a two. CS43198 been sent over by Hi-Fi Go so this video and the upcoming review videos that I'm going to have some of them wouldn't be possible without Hi-Fi Go let's continue okay so first impressions basically is that the build quality is pretty nice it's better built than you know the main source that I've been using which is this one the Abigail the Venture Electronics Abigail Pro dongle that uses a Connexan CX31993. This one is a bit beefier by comparison. As you can see, this is the size comparison. Look at this big thing. Look, at you see the size comparison. It's like holy shit. There's a different size. So this cable right here is, feels nice. Some sort of braided feature, uh, this braided cable. So as you can see, there's some labels right here. That's indicators. This is the OTG input, and right over here is basically an OTG input. Uh, output I mean. The DAC amp itself is also built pretty nice. It's made out of metal, like really nice metal. You can see the name at the back. You see here it's the snowy night right there. And as you can see right here it's all black. It has a, some sort of pre pretty intricate design right there. If you have the magic wand or you know how what the magic wand design is, it also has the similar patterns. So I think that's pretty cool that the snowy night can be associated with the magic wand. And yeah. So that's the build quality. Uh, the other thing I could think of is the buttons are, they click, pretty nice, has a nice click to them. And here are the terminations, it's using 3.5mm uh, and 4.4mm. It's a single-ended and a balanced output respect respectively. I should talk about the sound now. So there's going to be a big video or like a more in-depth video. This is going to essentially be the review of the snowy night, but it's going to be a bit of a twist. It's more of a what will I get if I'm using this mainly going to this. I was thinking of what would I gain from a simple dongle DAC amp to a more of a portable DAC amp like this one right here. That will be for a future video. Now what I could say about the snowy night is that compared to the Abigail Pro dongle, this is darker but actually more detailed. Uh, let me explain. My current impressions are now A being these two back and forth when I first released them, uh, when I first unboxed the full story night, is that it doesn't change the whole lot of the sound, which I'm really, really impressed by it, or at least it's not something that I coolly want to happen. Makes sense because uh, most stack amps they should like not try to alter the sound in a huge manner. If you want that, get EQ. <laughs> but on the full snowy night, the things that I've noticed when I've ran through a few IEMs in my lineup is that uh, for one thing, this somehow relaxes some of the treble. It's not that this is darker because I think there are reports of the Abigail Pro dongle to actually be bright sounding. Now, maybe, but what I do here on the full snowy night here, essentially it has improved dynamics across all IEMs. So when I tried it with the Zero Red, the Zero Two, the Kato, the Magic One, the Edo E200, various IEMs, I noticed that it has a better sense of physicality and also an improved nuance. And by comparatively speaking, this kind of just sounds a bit mushed together, especially in treble. Maybe that's why, because what I've noticed consistently from the Abigail Pro dongle to the Snowy Night is that this is a bit darker. But I am hearing more clarity on this because I think I can hear more nuance coming out of this. So this is very interesting for me. I think it benefits harder to drive more. I'm not saying that you get this so that you get more power, <laughs> though. but uh, this is fine for me for volume-wise. But with this, 
uh, I feel like it gives more of a juice for the Zero Red because Zero Red is a bit known to be a bit more of a demanding IEM for its price point actually because it has ironically low impedance so it needs more current and also overall less sensitivity at 100 decibels on 110 decibels it's not that this is not enough i feel like for most people if they want more volume i recommend that they need to fix their hearing levels there is something about the slow in light specifically on the zero red that it actually more apparent air region the dynamics seem to also improve as well whereas on the full dongle it is a bit cramped it's a bit hard to explain and i kind of i'm not really that comfortable on talking about very very subjective stuff because i always wanted to accompany it with numbers but that's what i essentially hear it is basically an improvement in all fronts so this is just first impressions on the review itself i'm going to compare the snowy night to not only this but i've also compared it to the moon drop dawn pro and a ferrum stack <laughs> uh, i think right now first impressions is it's an overall improvement in terms of technical performance specifically in dynamic representation or dynamics the term of dynamics the sensation of punch and slam and also more of the nuances of the song i think this one has a more appropriate representation of it so yeah i think that's it for first impressions so uh, I'll just say, wait for the whole review. It's gonna be a bit more of a interesting video for me, something that I want to make. So that I have my own thoughts about different sources, about sound quality or their perceived sound signature. Because again, a basic thing about the DAC amp is that they always do not alter the sound largely. Again, if you want that, use EQ. <laughs> so. Yeah, but I think that's it. That's all for my thoughts. So uh, leave a like down below, comment down below about uh, what you want me to talk about, I guess. And also subscribe so that you cannot miss the Apple Snowy Night review. As always, see you guys in the next video. Peace.